everybody, welcome back. Yo, we're going for the 44. Todd Bertuzzi. Very exciting. I love a palindromic attempt. I do love a palindromic attempt. I'll tell you, I hate everything else about this seed right now. G3TT74AV with uh, a truly horrible rate of fire. Matched with a... Uh, uh, unbelievably bad damage stat combined with a spacebar item I may use but am loath to I, I I would prefer not to now there's all sorts of sauce you could put on this you know with the clicker you can indeed I can't deny it you could become Dark Judas okay you could even just become like respawn Lazarus which is a pretty solid <laughs> upgrade um, but every time you use the clicker you leave a little bit of yourself Behind you know what I mean like you leave an item behind or you may leave an item behind I don't really mind leaving um, Homing bombs behind but really the the problem is less that and way more like I don't know if we lose anything else on top of it if you know what I mean like I don't know if we I don't know if we can start to lose HP. I also feel like um, that's pretty good, actually. I'll pop that right away. Then we can afford to... Well, maybe we don't want to do that just yet. Let me get the item first, then we'll, we'll talk about what's happening in here. Um, yeah, I just... Uh, I, I feel like it's just a little... Dangerous. If we have to use the clicker, like if we're... If we find ourselves in an untenable situation where the clicker's use makes, uh, you know... It, it doesn't make sense. It's more like it's got to be done, and it's got to be done. I'll tell you, that train has sailed. <laughs> we will not be using the clicker. Um, and the reason we will not be using the clicker is because we just got Tech X. Tech X essentially uh, makes it... Wouldn't say impossible to use, but way too risky. It's one of the best items in the game. So I feel extremely confident now. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the question becomes, how much do I care about an arcade? The answer is, not enough to not pick up the dice shard, which we can use to re-roll um, the clicker if we get a spacebar item, which I really wanted to happen right there, but that's okay. Um, and I will spend another bomb for a key as well. Okay, so I mean, every everything is fantastic now. This really changed things. Best boss would be Headless Horseman. I, I actually looked at it. I read Larry Jr. And then I looked at the icon and was like, Oh, it's Headless Horseman! <laughs> Which makes no sense at all, but... <laughs> I, I wanted to believe. That's how much I wanted to believe. So yeah, we're... Full stop. We're not going to use the clicker. This And this is a big change from me a uh, couple of... Uh, years ago I'm I'm even going to unzane you to a huge degree here You know what? Let's google it. Tech X What's the eye popping tier called? <laughs> Tech X synergies Okay, we're jumping to synergies on the wiki Interactions I, I can't believe I've forgotten what this item is called. But looking at it, it doesn't seem like it has any interactions. So quite frankly, with no interactions... And this is how you know. I'm. You want to talk about doing the little things right? How about doing some research, dude? So we could re-roll it. But I really, really, really want to re-roll... Um, the clicker. If we get the chance. And you know, I... Oh, okay. That's completely my bad. To be honest, I may end up taking the eyeball tears anyway. I would just like... Like, I'd like to see what they do together. I would just also like to have some of our other stats kind of improved <laughs> first. So that it doesn't... Uh, you know, if we destroy Tech X or minimize its, its usefulness, we're not like completely screwed, you know what I mean? Just give me a compromise. Let, let's compromise a little bit on this one. How does that... Compromise is always nice. I think we will go to our curse room right away. 
This run has everything you need to succeed, which is amazing, given uh, its dubious origins. Dubious, of course, is the uh, ancient uh, Greek philosopher who was uh, the patron saint of having a good time. You get it? You get dubious? You get it? You gotta be clever with Google DeepMind these days! You gotta, you gotta circumvent it using, like, like a, it's a captcha but for jokes. I don't know. I feel like this is almost like we're we're on the level of making a, a Jerry Seinfeld joke right now. Anybody notice? That's Jay Leno. Has anybody noticed? <laughs> that's more Jerry Seinfeld. The captchas are getting too hard. Pick every uh, square that has a traffic light in it. I don't know. Okay, that, I mean, obviously that joke didn't get off the ground, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I tell you, I watched most of the new Jerry Seinfeld special. I've been ragging on it. I really, I feel bad for ragging on it. And I know people are going to be like, don't feel bad, he's worth almost a billion dollars. Okay, yeah, don't feel bad. He's done some stuff in his past, maybe, but also, I don't know. You know, the, look, I'm not the, the judge and jury and executioner for Jerry Seinfeld's life, okay? I, I don't choose... Yeah, we'll pop it. I don't choose who can and can't be made fun of. But I, I did criticize his special based on the trailer. And upon watching it, it wasn't as bad as the trailer was. The trailer really just took the most boomer joke. Come on, just work with me here. And and spotlighted that. So, you knew it was a possibility. Losing the dice shard on that one is is truly devastating. That's that's a real good example of doing the little things wrong, unfortunately. The, this anyway to, to capstone this Jerry Seinfeld discussion. The special is not that bad. I would not recommend it, but it's not nearly as bad as the joke from the trailer that says the phones keep getting smarter. Why can't we? Apparently the secret room does not exist, so I will be leaving now, and uh, I'm disappointed in myself. We also did, well, hold on. We did make some good things happen on this floor. Getting small rock, you know, that's, that's worth something for us. Losing out on that deal with the devil. I'll tell you what the big uh, problem with that deal with the devil was from my perspective. None of the items did enough for me. Razor Blade, admittedly, was a space bar item, and in hindsight, it would have been better. People don't like my preference on these items, but in hindsight, it would have been better to take Razor Blade and then, or even just re-roll Razor Blade and then if it's good, pick it up. Yeah, sure, that would have been fine. I kind of mind flooded myself by being like, let's get a pedestal out of the Demon Judgment and then we could re-roll after we pick up Razor Blade to get rid of Clicker. I don't think it was worth the one HP cost to get rid of Clicker um, to take Razor Blade just to get rid of Clicker. Let's put it that way. Now, we could have just waited for this moment right here, and then that would have helped us out a great deal, but... It is what it is, you know? We, we made mistakes, but, but Small Rock... Very, very beneficial for us. We're still in a super amazing position, which I think is, is abundantly clear for anybody who's ever seen Tech X used in the past. Uh, we get to take both, dude. And we're in a good spot. Captures are getting too hard, though. But I guess that's because the robots are getting too good. But I always wonder, like, you ever get a CAPTCHA on a website where you're like, who's using automated accounts on this, you know? <laughs> like, uh, one of my friends linked me to his LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn, for anybody who's not familiar, is like, um... Is basically Facebook for like your occupation. So you would put like, I am a VP of uh, marketing at, you know, blah blah company. And then, um, you know, you can also post like little micro blogs on it, I guess. We're just gonna go in here. Um, 
but mostly it's it's almost like a living resume, but also with like a social network kind of aspect attached. It's becoming very popular and, and has been somewhat popular for a while. But when I went to his uh, LinkedIn page, LinkedIn was like, in order to see this profile, please uh, prove you're not a robot. And I was like, really? I mean, I'm, I don't know, to be clear. Obviously, LinkedIn knows something I don't. That's unfortunate. That tears down there. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, people are really, like, sending robots to, like, look at your resume. I don't doubt. I mean, I again, I believe there's talented software engineers and designers that are working at uh, LinkedIn that are like, we got a real automation problem here. But I am also, like, I kind of resent it. I'm like, man, instead of making... Well, we, th th sorry, there's a joke in here somewhere. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to think of how it's got to go. Instead of making the r humans prove they're not robots, make the robots prove they are human. But that doesn't really make any sense. So I'm gonna buy another spirit heart and another spirit heart and nothing. Um, I don't know how to feel about this run. It's so good, and yet also, like, surprisingly in danger. Mostly because our rate of fire is, is truly unbelievably horrendous. So this would be a great time for you to pay out with, like, Succubus. Succubus would help us out a lot here. We do have a weird pill synergy now. You know what? This is, this is prime time... Sack Altar. <laughs> Sack Altar uh, would be an amazing name for a time traveler, uh, but also an incredible. Just pop that early to figure out what it is and hold strength. Um, an incredible value play for us right here, but let's not worry about it too much. Everything's going well, by the way. It is, uh, as mentioned, it is. Wednesday. Um, I, I, I had a terrible night's sleep last night, but I, I'm kind of like, I'm trying to get out of the habit of acting like that gives me uh, any sympathy or credit whatsoever, because I know what's coming for me, you know? Uh, we are, uh, as, as mentioned, ad nauseum. You're like, oh, shut up, we get it, you're expecting your firstborn child. I mean, it's kind of a big deal, but I, I bring it up for context. You'd be amazed how many people are like, I didn't know, dude. It's not my responsibility, I guess, to let everybody on planet Earth know, but I can at least keep people abreast of the situation when it's relevant. But, like, I don't know, man. It's... The, uh, being... And this is... An, it's become a common topic of conversation, I'll admit. May, here, you know what? I I also I feel the need to let people know. So I, I felt like I false started that conversation a couple of times, but get ready, because now I, I got, I've got the principles for where I want to go on this one zeroed in. Um... So, so I feel the need to let people know that sometimes, uh, and really with us, like me and other people I work with, it's not sometimes, it's an all the time sort of thing. No, 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 no. If you want to call me a coward for this run, so be it. So be it. They're giving me weird sauce. And I don't want it. I'll take it plain, please. Can I tell you something as well before we pivot to that relatively big conversation? I used to eat everything plain. Uh, I would get a... Like a McChicken sandwich from McDonald's. Hold the little shredded lettuce. Hold the mayonnaise. When I went to Subway, and this will blow your mind, because Subway is not exactly using the highest quality ingredients to begin with. But if I would go to Subway as like a 13-year-old, I would get like a, uh, a turkey sandwich. Cheese. No other vegetables at all. Literally... Turk, like, white bread or wheat bread. But even wheat bread was like, oh, I don't know. That's pretty exotic. Um, turkey, cheese. And sometimes, like, I went through a little health kick in, like, 11th and 12th grade. So sometimes I'd even skip the cheese. Now, you might be like, well, why didn't you skip the bread? Um, you don't understand. You know, the mid-2000s were a little bit less carb-phobic uh, than, than we are now. Uh, you know, that's, that kind of stuff is constantly changing. Um... Just thinking about this one. So that's going to be our shop. Which means it could be a library up here. 
So anyway, I've come a long way. That's why I, I always I talk about picky eating a lot. If you're a picky eater, stop that. I know you think you're, you know, I'm just weird. I just don't like the texture of this. It's like, I mean, <clears throat> of course, but like get over it. Here's the thing. You ever consider, this is what happened for me. You ever consider you're not a picky eater because of your preferences, but rather your preferences are picky because of what you ate as a child? I'm not trying to blow your mind, but yeah, like I'll level with you. Does, uh, you know, uh, kale taste as good as dinosaur chicken nuggets? No, but that's not fair. Kale grows in the ground. It's healthy for you. Dinosaur chicken nuggets, you know, let me put it this way, okay? Kale did not evolve to be delicious necessarily, although I'm sure there's some artificial selection from farmers on that. You know, kale evolved to take in light from the sun effectively and turn it into leaves that get more light from the sun and build structures that can transmit water from the roots to the leaves and etc etc right dinosaur chicken nuggets were formulated in a laboratory to be as delicious as possible it's not a fair fight no vegetables are gonna taste as good as a buffalo wing but that doesn't mean they're bad just means you gotta get over it. Anyway, here's what I was gonna say. Every uh, time we stream, when you listen to our opinions, our opinions are exaggerated. I, I refuse to do it. You keep offering me the forbidden fruit, I refuse to take it. Back, foul, temptress. Um, our opinions are exaggerated, okay? So a, a good example is that Yesterday, we were doing Team Unity, and Apollo said he watched Spirited Away. Fantastic movie. He had already seen it before. I've seen it before as well. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time. I, in my, why, why just walk through it? In my opinion, one of the best movies ever made. Highly recommended if you haven't seen Studio Ghibli's Spirited Away. Watch it. It's, it's a, a modern fairy tale. However, Apollo took some heat. Like, we, you know, we did a five-hour show where we talked about many things. The, the post-show thread on my subreddit had like 75 comments. 90% of them were about the 30-second interval where Apollo said, It's animated, but it's not anime. And I'll admit, he was saying some things that would offend people who enjoy anime. You know, essentially he was taking the position that... Uh, you know, because, it, and I'll put words in his mouth here, but I'm also going to defend him, so it, it's worth it. Um, he was taking the position that, you know, because it doesn't have, he, he doesn't want you to have a bias against Spirited Away by putting the hallmarks of the anime medium on it without watching it that might make you think that you would enjoy it less than you actually will. So I can see how if you're, you know, if you consider one of the pillars of your personality to be, and that, that specific sentence is actually not meant as a backhanded sort of compliment. Um, you know, if, if you consider anime to be a big part of your life, you would probably listen to that and be like, screw that guy. And it's pretty much to some extent what happened in that thread. And I had to wade in and I'm trying to explain to people like, you know, Anytime someone takes time to puzzle out their opinion in a in a reasoned way, in a moderate way on the stream, 500 comments pop up that go, radical centrist, radical centrist, take a side, take a side. When somebody, yeah, we'll take this. When somebody exaggerates their opinion to generate banter and create some comedic effect, they run the risk of getting blowback. And if you know, all, all I say is if you if you keep hitting people with blowback for for you know exaggerating their opinion for comedy to entertain you, you're you're creating a situation where you're liable to get some boring streams. That's all I'm gonna say there. Hold on, because eventually, you know, someone like Apollo might be like, you know, well I'm gonna stop trying to entertain people. Instead, I'm just gonna take the most milk toast possible position on every issue, and then you turn into me. See, we can still laugh here. Um, so I, I say this as an exaggeration first. 
uh, and, and to acknowledge that I'm exaggerating. So don't take too much offense to it. I'm using it as a conduit for conversation. So how does this loop back into what I was talking about earlier? I told you I had it all figured out five minutes ago when it popped into my head fully formed. Um, I think people complain too much about being tired. And I want you to know that I throw that out there right now so that it can be thrown back in my face in a couple of, or a few months when uh, we have our daughter. People are always complaining about being tired like it's... Look, nobody likes being tired. I've complained about it in the past. Right now, you know, I, I didn't sleep so well last night. I got a, a a little tired headache. You know, my skin feels a little bit like, like papery. I know it's a strange sentence, but everybody's got those like hallmarks of tiredness that are, that are unique to you, right? Like, you know, digestive issues and et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, I have to, and this is maybe an overly reductive way to think about this. I have to imagine that, you know, if you were talking to somebody in like the 1800s, were they not just like tired all the time? On top of also possibly being, you know, uh, chronically malnourished? Or am I being, there we go, finally. Am I, am I making a, a, a mistake in constantly thinking that the past is maybe, like, worse than it was? I don't know. But I have to imagine, like... So, like, last night I probably got, like, five and a half hours of good sleep. I slept for a couple hours. The cast woke me up a couple of times. You know, I had, like, a, a nightmare that I don't even remember that woke me up. And then I had also one of those things where I think I was, like, half asleep. But I didn't realize I was half asleep until, uh... I was woken up by something, and I was like, how long have I been half asleep for? You ever get that? Anyway. So, like, I have to imagine if you were, like, you know, a farmer in 1862, if you got five and a half hours of sleep, you were probably, like, it's a pretty good day, right? <laughs> Maybe you feel, like, a little off, but you probably feel, like, a little off. All the time? Yeah, sure. Let's let's accept that. I don't know. I definitely... I don't want to take the position that people complain too much. Although I 100% agree with it. It invites, you know... Bad faith discussions. I complain too much, for sure. I'm not saying other people complain and I'm, like, perfectly stoic. I complain about minor stuff all the time. It's on brand. However, I'm always like, you know, hungry. Oh, dude. If you're complaining about being hungry, I get that 100%. But I, I think maybe people have like different priorities for that stuff. Like for me, like I'm a little hungry right now and I'm in distress. <laughs> I'm like, eh, you know, and I know that obviously you can use my own argument against me here. Uh, you know, there's people in the world that are starving and they're still like, you know, there's people in Canada that are, like, at work right now, and they're starving because they're, like, below the poverty line, okay? I'm not trying to say I got it that bad, but, like, in the moment, right now, I'm like, if I don't eat within an hour, I'm gonna pass out, which is probably not even close to being true. But tiredness, I'm like, man, whatever. I'm not saying I'm gonna thrive in, in, a, in a low rest environment, but I feel like Unrestricted access to sleep versus unrestricted access to food. Give me the food, personally. And again, I want to point out, some of you are probably getting a little bit mad. Probably saying, he doesn't understand what it's like. I work third shift and yada, yada, yada. You know, that's very true. Again, I'd like to point you to the previous discussion where you say, like... Uh, it's a complicated thing, right? It's like, I'm exaggerating my opinion for comedy in the same way that I said, like, food poisoning wasn't real, when what I meant to say in my heart of hearts was that people misdiagnose food poisoning as like, oh, you know, I had nine beers last night and now I have diarrhea. It was probably the taco I ate. <laughs> I've subsisted on nothing but potato chips for three days. Oh, I think it was probably uh, that vegetable I ate four days ago. Anyway. You might say, well, why not just say your real opinion? Well, a lot of the time I do, you know. There's no doubt about that. I mean, if you watch this 
program for any length of time. You're aware of, you know, my real opinion on a lot of issues. But, I'll, oh, you know what? We do have Black Rune. Let's just get rid of that. Luxstat is, is through the roof here. But I would also say, like, secondarily, like, you gotta put some sauce on your on your opinion sometimes for, for entertainment value, you know? Like, as much heat as I've taken, and we're, we are gonna do this five room right away. Um, as much heat as I've taken for saying food poisoning isn't real, it also became something that was very funny for a lot of people, which is kind of like the reason they're watching the content to begin with. If I just, you know, if we had NLSSs and we were like, oh, you defrost your Uncrustable sandwiches in your armpits? Well, that's not for me, but different strokes for different folks. You know, I think people would be like, what the heck is this? <laughs> what a strange program. Instead, we go, are you out of your mind? And then, like, 90% of people are like, that was hilarious. Then, like, a very small percentage of people are like, why are they so mad at each other? It's a weird dynamic. It's, there, there's like a streamer kayfabe <laughs> that you gotta, you gotta constantly uh, be aware of. Or not, you could just be one of those streamers who's like, hey guys, I'm live. I'm thinking about like a late career switch into being one of those streamers. I'm not saying it's easy because most of them put in like unbelievably long hours. But I feel like you take a lot less heat when you're like, you know, you eat fish and chips with a fork? That's cool. I eat them with my hands. We can all get along. But there's something about me like I, I don't experience the call of the void. But if people aren't talking about the content, I'm like, something's... I, I, I crave that, that conversation, even if it does end up being negative from time to time. Not negative, but... Let's say spicy. Let's say spicy. <laughs> Speaking of spicy, by the way, this is going to be a little Isaac discussion because the run is very good, but it's very good pretty much only because of Tech X. No greed, thank you. So we love this. I don't think we need anything else from that particular skew. Uh, we love this. Oh, this is this is potentially going to be pretty big. We love this. Um, Blow this up again. We don't have any trinkets. I think we can get away with nothing here and fish for a bigger reroll. Um, I honestly do not look at Potato Peeler as, as saving us here. I Obviously, Black Candle is very good. And this is the end. Um, I think you use Mama Mega. Chaos is always... I get myself into trouble with Chaos. I'm starting to come to the opinion that perhaps Chaos actually makes our runs worse more often than it makes them better. I think what I've really done, and, and I think people will honestly be happy to hear this because I've seen some rumblings of it in the comments, but I think 100% uh, what I've done is tunnel visioned on the idea that uh, like, oh, what if we got deals with the devil? outside of deals with the devil as a result of chaos what ends up actually being the case more often in my opinion is we end up going to our deal with the devil and getting trash and then also getting normal item pools just because there's there's so many more normal items uh in our item rooms anyway i'm not saying there haven't been some special situations where that's changed but Nah, 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 nah. I think for the most part, chaos isn't what we're looking for. Wh whiffing on the 80% deal with the devil there hurt me a great deal, though. I'm not afraid to... I'm not afraid to... You know, strong men also cry. Strong men also cry. I've been thinking about that lately. And as always, like, when I talk about, uh, you know, streamer chat issues... It's not to, to draw, like, a line of... Uh, I mean, this one wasn't even about me. It's not to be like, ah, uh, people are being rude. It's more like, I feel like sometimes I have to explain the joke. Because I was feeling bad for Apollo. Like, Apollo fell on the sword of having a deliberately distorted opinion about a, perhaps the most contentious issue on the internet. Anime. And then, you know, it, we, it, it sucks, basically. Like, it, 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 the Unity was fun, but it sucks to do, like, a five-hour stream. And then you're like, oh, the... 
thread about it. It has like 60 comments. People must have loved it. And it, actually, there's like five comments that were like, this was cool. And then there's 53 comments that are like, I hate that he said that. This is ridiculous. Like, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, and I also, like, if hear me out here. If somebody said something terrible, you know, if somebody dropped like an unthinkable slur on the show and like 98 percent of the comments were about that i wouldn't be saying this <laughs> i would be like yeah that makes sense he screwed up pretty bad um but this one i'm like come on man you gotta choose your battles not so much like don't say that but more like you're, you're gonna destroy the thing you like like i peep your reddit history and i see this like you know you leave a lot of comments on on our group stuff Every time you, you criticize, oh, careful. We do have a lot of HP. That was not very smart. Anytime you criticize the streamer for some minor stuff that was in the sake of entertainment. Major stuff, of course. Of course, keep them, keep them honest, you know, keep them steady. But anytime you criticize them for some minor stuff, I think you're unknowingly creating a situation where you're turning the stream into, like, McDonald's, you know? It's never gonna rankle anybody at all but nobody feels particularly strongly about it except like me i'm not afraid to say i really like mcdonald's i, I do feel like uh it is possible chicken nuggets are the best food by the way hold on i'm like losing it did we do a womb one <laughs> Yeah, we fought war. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. I, I think, I don't know. Some, I feel like I just lost 30 seconds of my life somehow. That was weird. So I will say, um, you may not have believed me earlier, but as you can see, things are getting slightly dangerous. Um, should still be fine. Do keep in mind, you know, the luck is going to be ridiculous. And do keep in mind, we got uh, Gimpy. Gimpy has paid out a couple of times. Maybe hasn't been, like, incredibly clutch. But we, we really got to stay steady here, and we got to stay frosty. We should be able to guide this one to a relatively easy victory, but it's it's not quite guaranteed status. I also, I, I'm like, I don't want to do any, like, bonus rooms right now. Thank God for the orbital, dude. If I have a teleport, sure, I, I would do a bonus room. But otherwise, like, no thank you. Al I was going to say, Alges will change my opinion on that as well. Okay, so our boss fight, we're about halfway done with the floor. We know where we're at. Um. Oh, we re-rolled the stone chess. It seems bad, but is actually... Oh, come on. Don't have too much choice in the matter. We got to charge shots, but that does hurt. Um... Okay, okay, okay. This is a really tough decision. I, I No, it's not, actually. I think you pop Algis for the blue baby fight and then take the dice shard down to the next floor. We should still be totally fine. But obviously, like, I'm really... I mean, I'm, I'm starting to get a little concerned. What we'd really like to see is just, like, a tiers upgrade. We got a tiers downgrade via, um, a pill. It actually did quite a number on us. Because it takes, we, we can't spam shots right now. It just takes slightly longer to charge, um, than it does to... But it, it takes longer to charge than the one shot's lifespan. So we really are losing out on a lot of potential DPS by having a 19 rate of fire. But we got Dice Shard. Uh, we got an incredible luck stat. And you know what? I, I like Maggie's bow. And this is Spun. Which is also a walking on sunshine pill. Now, I, I, little Gertie is, is almost close. But I don't think it's quite there, so I think this is a good dice shard. And we'll lose the pills, including walking on sunshine, but it is what it is. Uh, rune bag is, is very nice. High Priestess is fine. And I feel like uh, Bloody Penny is pretty good for us as well. Tech 2, we, we won't take, though. Tech 2, we won't take. So I at 8 luck, 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. What a what a terrible turn of events. <laughs> Gimpy gave us HP when I walked over creep, and then I walked over creep to get the HP. Uh, we don't need to be in this room either. Come on, man. So, we haven't played a perfect game. What I will say is, uh, I'm extremely glad that I did not take any of the funky items. There's always a chance I'm going to go back in the comments for this one. And people are going to be like, the eyeball tears combined with uh, Tech X is like the greatest synergy in Isaac. Um, I don't think that's the case. If it is the case, I apologize. There's also the chance you go back and people will be like, says he wants a tears upgrade, wouldn't take... Uh, Soy milk. I think that, you know, you got to recognize that that one's a little bit of a bad faith argument because soy milk also tanks your damage, which at the time that we saw it wasn't very good to begin with. Um, but I, I really, I, I feel like we pretty much just use Tech X exclusively to win this. And uh, I'm glad we didn't get overconfident because I really think we were not too far away from this one being a total disaster, quite frankly. I think this is the most deceptive win we've had in a while. This could very easily have been a loss without too much extra extra sauce put on it. For now, though, get this handled. Good stuff. And 48-hour uh, energy. I mean, why am I thinking about pills? We just won the run. <laughs> That's a good sign that maybe we should take a little 10 minute break. Anyway, for now, if you enjoy the episode, I'm going to assume you did. You watched all 36 minutes and 33 seconds. Click the like button. It's the single best way to help me out as a content creator in an equivalent exchange for you enjoying the video. Just click the button. It's free and it helps me out a great deal. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya!